Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. Today, let's talk tickers and Taco Tuesdays, and we're getting more into the locus of control. Digging deep and dealing the dirty, dirty dogs a couple of cards. Because, you know, sometimes we can't change the cards and the hand that we're dealt. A prime example is Alex Trebek. He is beautiful up to the very last. My dad asked me this evening, how can he look so good and just perish? And it's something that you can't see, the endocrine damage and the pancreatic cancer without any comorbidities of like skin issues from liver and collagen breakdowns, whether that be through poor diet or smoking and toxic toxification from whatever sort, you don't see him break down, but he is breaking down inside and it's why it is so important. I said to him next, have your milk with your cookies. You've got to have your milk with your cookies. Because the cookie is a carb, and the milk is a protein and fat, allowing it to be absorbed for longer. You don't want to waste your pancreas's life, the juice that it squeezes out to digest your foods and process the glucose and the potassium by means of insulin. You don't want to become resistant to it because you spike it and drop it and spike it and drop it. Because that's what the difference between somebody who's diabetic or someone with pancreatic cancer their pancreas's life is shorter than yours and mine who do not have the diabetes and who take care to avoid these shrinking of the lifeline and these peaks and troughs peaks and troughs so why it's again not a, not a good habit to eat constantly in between meals because it's like your pancreas doesn't ever have kind of an off switch and it can begin to erode the areas around it in your stomach. And it's just kind of a corrosive material of people who just kind of eat little pieces of cereal, little mindless chews and eats. It's, you gotta, let's talk tickers and taco Tuesdays. You don't eat little pieces of the taco throughout the day. You eat a taco for breakfast or for dinner. And that's right. You try to skip at least a meal a few times a week. Don't eat until 12, and then you can eat the same amount of food you can until about 8 p.m. And you've fasted. You've fasted. You've done your body something that will help put you in a state of metabolism that prevents over glycogen reserves being like overproduction of glycogen reserves. And the locus of control in these aspects is always you control what you put to your mouth. You can do it. I'm gonna drink some water. Some thirsty. And I don't really have a taste for anything else, but I'm thirsty. Because the point of being thirsty is you're already dehydrated enough to the point of being hypovolemic which is a low volume of water which will make you sleepy it'll make everything in your body all your organs function a little more poorly like spongebob drying out in sandy's dome i don't need it i don't need it i And whether or not you can convince yourself that you don't, which is possible, because much like the horse, we can ignore our instincts. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the horse is different than the donkey in that you can run a horse until it dies and keels over from exhaustion. You can overrun and overtire a horse because it's a bigger brained, smarter animal that can ignore its instincts while a donkey won't ignore its instincts. It'll lay down and take whatever kind of beating you want to put out when it's tired. 
because it won't overexhaust itself to the point of death being a dumber beast and not ignoring its instincts which i'm not saying all instincts are wrong but there are instincts towards life and there are instincts towards death and we have to name our death wish we have to name our death wishes or else we're just gonna look like a big ass wait that's not right that's not your card can't ever find a card. Which one was it? Hold on. I don't know how much card it was. I don't play cards. Because my hands are too small. <laughs> to end with a point, take what you will with this life and understand that it is finite. There is no biological free lunch. All the chemicals we put into our bodies have drawbacks. There is an equal and opposite reaction to every action. And to ignore instincts and to not know what your body needs is tricky. Because I don't think we were taught well in school what we need. What good hygiene, personal, physical, mental, and spiritual is. I think it's a many-pronged approach. One day at a time. Starting with getting your head on straight. Taking that chip off your shoulder and getting your heart in the right place. Swinging for the fences. Cleaning up that yellow belly. Keeping it all in the hips. Shaking a leg. Taking it all in stride. And deciding to not tiptoe, toe the line, but to go toe to toe with reality. Oh, low battery. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.